Hey guys, I'm Emily and this is Brooks Family Farm. We have reached just over a hundred subscribers on our YouTube channel, which just is so amazing and we are so grateful. Um, so stick around towards the end of this video. I'll tell you about a little giveaway I think we're going to put together just to say thank you um, for all of your support of our little farm. We are at the very beginning of October. This is October 1st. I'm not sure when I'll get this edited. Um, because kids and farm but our weather is still pretty good but it's getting pretty cold in the mornings we've had some 38 degree mornings Fahrenheit um, so our flowers are still growing and doing well um, but we're starting to shift <laughs> Helen's calling for me um, we're starting to shift to planning for next year we weren't able to go to our farmers market today um, or last weekend so I haven't made farmers market bouquets I am gathering a bunch of flowers um we have a friend who has asked helen to make a bridal bouquet she's renewing her vows and so helen is in charge of the bouquet we might get a little glimpse of that later today and then i'm doing um, a large vase arrangement and if i have enough maybe a smaller vase arrangement so we will do that today i'll kind of show you a little bit of what we have left here at the end of the season in the garden what i'm working with um and then we may walk through a little bit and i'll kind of um maybe share a few of our plans for next year we're not sure how much we're going to get done this winter but we have a lot in mind so these are our pigs that we've had for a couple months they're doing awesome and they're getting to be so fun and friendly if you follow us on social media you see them pop up in our stories all the time um because they're always doing something funny and then we got a new set last saturday so one week ago that are over here these are our little ones yeah these are our little ones oh sorry buddy i didn't mean to scare ya how you get used to us you love them This little guy right here is your favorite one? Yes. These are Hereford and Red Wattle Cross. Our next set of piglets that we'll get are going to be purebred Hereford, all from the same breeder. He has a purebred Hereford boar, but some of his sows are purebred Hereford, and some of his sows are Hereford Red Wattle Cross. So let me make these like a fourth Red Wattle maybe, but we like them. They're so friendly. All the pigs we've gotten from him are so friendly which makes taking care of them a breeze. We have a bunch of rock to spread out when we get the time. Neil says he's tired of getting stuck in the mud, and I have to agree. But the cows are over in here. Neil had a bale of hay for him somewhere. So, so how are they getting the water? So I called Neil because I thought the cows were way down at the far end, and turns out they are supposed to be. But they're not they're over there so what we're going to do is nothing too exciting because i don't feel like it so we're going to open up the gate so they can get to their water make sure the other gate is shut and just leave them where they are so we have this section of the field this half of the field and we have it cut into sections with electric wire and clearly they got out of a section into another section so they're not out out per se but they're in the wrong section we see four black cows and three, four white cows. We should have four black, four white, four red because we just luckily got to keep it even. I only see two red cows, three red cows. Yeah, I was counting her. There's Kevin and Glinda and Dolly. Oh, so the one I don't see is Louise and she won't go anywhere. Oh, I see her. There she is. Yeah. You're pretty. We might keep you. We might have to keep you. Hey, sweetie. Hey, sweetie. Good morning. This yellow one is one of our very first cows. We still have three. Oh, this black one 
Here's one of our very first. And then the red one behind this yellow calf is actually the black one's daughter. So not one of our very first cows, but from the first year. So this is our next batch of chicks and they'll be ready to go out next weekend. I need to redo waters and fill up some feed. Neil put a new feeder in here. I didn't even know that yesterday. Because they're eating a lot. Are you guys eating a lot of food? Are you guys hungry chickens? So we looked at the little chicks. We'll come check on the bigger chickens. Looks like they're out of food in their feeder, which is perfect because um, we feed them in the afternoon. And really you want them to have food for about 12 hours and then not have food for about the next 12 hours. So it looks like they're just hanging out. And we'll come move them in another hour or so, um, which you can tell they're ready. You can tell the difference even in just the ground where they are, how it's kind of matted. And then this is the ground where they were yesterday. They really mat it down. Um, we're pretty dry, so it's taken it a little longer to recover. But we are back on areas where we had chicken tractors even a few weeks ago. And the ground looks just fine ahead of them, especially for the 1st of October. There's plenty of good green stuff. Essentially, they're just leaving a little bit of fertilizer behind every time they go. So we are going to do just a small little giveaway. I didn't really plan ahead for this because I didn't really expect to get to 100 subscribers by now, I guess. Um, so I just want to do something small. And if we hit 500 or 1,000, I'm already planning something a little better for those. But um, I want to send you some stickers. So we have um, Brooks Family Farm stickers. And I think we have five designs if you count like just our logo sticker and then four other designs. Um, so I'll send you a pack of those as well as I've been hoarding some of my favorite stickers um, from one of my favorite YouTube channels. Um, so that'll be a little surprise. If you will comment down below on this video, I will go through the comments and put them in a random spin wheel and choose someone um, to send those to so comment down below and then if you win I'll let you know and get your address and I will send you those stickers I would love to do that for you guys um, thank you so much for supporting us I really it's so much fun we're having a blast and that's been so fun to document and I can't wait to see with all these plans we have for next year um, and the next five years I can't wait to see what it looks like I'm sure it'll be really fun to look back at these early videos um, and see where we were so thank you so much for being a part of that. If you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and do that. That'd be awesome. Um, and if you have already subscribed, comment down below and we will send one of you just a little bit of happy mail. Thank you so much. And come around here. It's kind of back to a weedy mess, but really it's a lot better than it was this time last year. Oh, you know what? I forgot about my, here's my tomatoes. I have a lot of big green tomatoes and a lot of hornworms. That's hornworm damage. I forgot about my little bitty sunflowers because I don't think they'll have time to make anything. So, oh, they're not that little bitty. Maybe I should be watering them. These aren't on the drip tape, so I haven't been watering them as much. I'm gonna come water them. See, these are a little smaller. I'm not sure they'll have time. I have a few zinnia seedlings here that I started. I'm not sure they'll have time to make anything. These zinnias have done really well for as old as they are. They've been blooming over a month, maybe two months. We're starting to get some bugs. It's taking its toll, but they've done really well. These tomatoes aren't real big, but they're starting to color up. I can go ahead and take that one inside before a worm gets to it. I just saw the most amazing thing. So I had some sunflowers, if you remember, that I planted. And then a deer came and chopped off the tops of all of them. But I knew they'd been growing branches and doing good, and now they've bloomed. Make sure and cut them long, remember? You see a pink one? Beautiful. Great.
We already cut a lot of our flowers last night, didn't we, Helen? Yeah. Yeah. But you put them in your hand until they look just pretty the way you like them. And then when it's how you like them, we'll tie a string around it and we'll put it in a jar and give it to Miss Rena. Does that sound fun? Yeah. Okay, you get started and I can help you if you need. Uh, I think we're gonna have to snip. A pretty piece of greenery. That's right, my girl. It has two pieces. Yeah, two in one. That's very nice. That makes you delighted? Yeah, what's the these Beautiful, pretty flowers. Do you want to scoot back a little bit so you can reach better? <coughs> you want to come up? Miss Rena will love this one. Oh, she will especially love that one? Wonderful. I'll put that one sticking up. Oh, smart. Did you say you were going to put it sticking up? That's wonderful, so she can really see it good. Hugh wants a flower. I'll give him a two far blooming one. All right. I think he just likes it. I think he, oh, yeah, some greenery. I think we should take this one. This one? This bouquet is getting so lovely, my dear. Let's keep on putting flowers in it. Absolutely, you can make it however you like it. That's what Miss Mima said. Do you need help holding it or is it going okay? I need help holding it. Okay, I can hold the ends for you. Sure, I think that'll work. A lot of flowers. Mm-hmm. Doing two at a time would be best. Okay. Okay. It's getting lovely. I think it's getting lovely. Can you do that? I can. Let me see. What do you think, Helen? I think it looks great. Do you like it? Yes. I think you did great. <laughs> hey, it's the next morning. Um, so this video is a little bit jumbled. Um, but we got our flowers done and delivered. I was really proud of Helen's little bouquet. Um, I thought it actually turned out pretty good. We were instructed that Helen was supposed to do it herself. And so she did. I wanted to finish this video with just a little walkthrough of our farm. We have 40 acres here in South Central Missouri. Um, most of it is cattle pasture. We have this section here near the house that we've done pigs, chickens, and flowers. And definitely the end of the season next year um, is probably what I'm most excited about because I'm planning on several dahlias. I've ordered 75 tubers so far. Uh, and then I'll supplement that with the fun ones that I can't resist as well as we'll be digging the ones we have I'm just excited for dahlias. So where I'm standing This is the far edge of our property where you see trees. That's our north property line And then we actually go quite a ways past these trees here um, That goes up into the back of our property and there's a bunch of cedar trees as you can see so that's kind of what we're thinking for pigs in the future, but that's that'll be in the future. And so this little area I'm standing on here now then goes up to the house. Um, but the beginning of this year, this is where we did chicken tractors. Um, we had some trouble because it does slope. I don't know if you can see that, but we had some trouble with water runoff in the chicken tractors. But we did our first batch, first couple batches, I'd have to look back and remember, in this section. And it was pretty nice for that. Um, what we're thinking for this going forward, I have to show you. So we did our first couple batches of chickens here. Neil thought we had some corn growing, but I actually think it's maybe Milo or some other kind of grain. Um, it was definitely from their feed though, which is pretty funny. Um, 
what we're thinking here is maybe greenhouse. So we have a greenhouse hoop house. Um, it's 12 by 30, so it's small to get started with. Um, but I'm excited to use it for dahlias and a couple other crops. But we're thinking maybe here. So let me see if I can show this. The house is here. We're thinking maybe greenhouse here. Um, and then I definitely want to do some pumpkins next year. And I think around the hoop house would be a good place for that. So I don't know. We're, this area is kind of in flex. Um, we could also put pigs down here. So Neil's also thinking about building some sections for pigs down here. Um, I don't know. I know I need a place for my greenhouse and my guess is this is going to be it. Behind the house is the area I am most excited about. There's a lot of natural rocks out here. Um, so Neil has taken a skid steer and is working on just scraping it. He's got some fill dirt. I'm going to level it out. Um, and I think right now our plan is raised beds. I've got space for 22 20 foot long by 3 foot wide raised beds back here. Um, which is just a ton of growing space. And I don't know. We have so many things to do this winter. I doubt that we get them done this winter. But that's on the list and I'm excited. Neil won't have to figure out how to mow back here. We'll just do something in the walkways to keep the weeds down. It'll be wonderful. Our chicken coop is super cute. I love it, actually. Um, we have eight hens and one rooster right now. It'll hold like 20. Um, but it's super cute. It's where Helen takes care of her chickens and gets her eggs. Yes, we did have the smoker on the chicken poop, chicken coop porch. I don't know why. There's a chicken, chicken yard. So back here is kind of funky. Obviously, we've just let it go this year, but, um, my plan was to put a greenhouse here. And I've watched it in the sun in different seasons of the year, and it really would get some good light. You can see. But um, I don't think it's going to be able to work because of the rock. Neil's been up in there and there's just some rock shelf that would be really difficult to work with. And of course I'm talking about a seed starting like glass or poly greenhouse, not my hoop house. So obviously if it doesn't go here, I don't know where it will go. Um, I like this being central because my garden's over there, garden's over here. Um, there's central location be convenient for a seed starting greenhouse. But... If it can't work, it can't work. So we'll figure that out <laughs> to be determined. So we have the garden area, which you've seen before. It is different right now, of course, because Neil took out the blackberries, which it was wonderful to have blackberries and I'd like to put blackberries somewhere else. But this location just was not working out for us because I'm spending a lot of time in the garden, really needing to be in the garden and work. Um, Helen's spending a lot of time on the playground. This way we can see each other the whole time. It's perfect. So this will open up at least one more three foot row, maybe two. Um, and we had 13 before. So I've had them the same way. Um, I've talked about this in a blog post for sure, maybe a video, um, where they're mounded and then I put old hay on top and just no till, no dig. And so we're going to keep that. Um, I'm going to do even better this year. So I put the hay on early spring this year, which was wrong. I'm going to put it on this fall, let it compost down. There were a couple areas that I did that, like on the garlic, um, that the hay went on in October, November, and it was awesome at keeping weeds down. So deep hay in the fall. Um, we would like to raise these beds, build sides, just like the backyard. Um, but again, not sure where that is on the to-do list, if it's going to get done sooner or later, but that's the plan. So then we come over, and you've seen this is a lot. This is our pig area. So this field over here is almost a mirror of the one on the other side of the house. I think this one might be a little bit bigger. I don't know. It is flatter, um, which is why we've started doing chickens over here. And I think this will just be the plan for the foreseeable future is to run chicken tractors. This is quite a large area. We've always liked this section for the cows because it's easy like to bring them in, water, and sort them. This was always kind of our sacrificial area um, that we'd let them stay on a little longer just for the sake of bringing them in here to feed. Um, grows really great grass though. So Neil kind of hates to give it up for the cows, but for what we're doing here with the chickens, the pigs, the growing, willing to. So that's just kind of this front area and then obviously we go up the drive and we get to the rest of the property for the cows. But that's this area that we're really trying to develop into really kind of our market 
um, for pork, chicken, and flowers. Um, at this point, we're not anticipating expanding our market into beef, although we did talk a couple of days ago about the potential for expanding into milk in the next, that would be many years, but something I've always wanted to do is have a milk cow, and Neil finally brought it up as a, I wonder. So anyway, look for that in about 12 years. But this area that I've shown you, I really expect to change a lot in the next two to three years, if not next year, with a lot of building and a lot of just getting everything settled the way we want it. So I really wanted to do a walkthrough for myself more than anything to be able to see kind of where this place started out and how it's going to look in the next couple of years. Um, don't forget to comment on this video. I'll give that... Um, about a week or so and then I'll choose a winner. If only one person comments, then you get the stickers. Um, so thank you so much for doing that. Um, be sure to subscribe. We'll be making videos as we do a lot of these changes so you can kind of keep up with that. Um, and as we get in the planning phase and into production for next year, that's going to start early. We're going to be starting seeds in January, February. So not too long of a planning break before we really get into it. Really hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for hanging out with us. Bye.